Mozarteum, el arte de escuchar, con el auspicio de City. How does it feel to be a privileged listener conductor? What I notice when I do a concert is that I, that I experience two types of listening. There's one that is listening in the future, so to say. So I hear the music in my head, and that has to, I have to listen to that in order to know what I want to happen in the orchestra, in the choir. And there is another layer of listening, which is I listen to the actual sound that they make. And I constantly, I think, have to compare these two with each other. That's a process that goes without me noticing it. The best situations are where these two are the same, where I have the feeling I can just listen and I don't have to do anything, and all goes by itself. For me, the biggest difference between the human voice and any other instrument probably lies in, in, lies in, the, personal, in the personal aspect of singing. Everyone has a voice, so when people sing, I think audience are very easily, uh, they easily resonate with the music because they recognize the sound of voices. I think it's one of the most beautiful instruments in the world. If I'm optimistic or pessimistic about the future of classical music, uh, optimistic, optimistic, yes. I think there are still difficult times ahead of us, and we just have to accept that Classical music may always be a niche. It will be for a, for a certain subculture that enjoys it. I really, really hope that countries and governments understand how much value there is in, in music education. I think it should be absolutely um, one of the main courses in any school because children learn to communicate with each other and they learn so many human aspects so many things that, that are valuable to human life. I, I really hope that we musicians will stay asking for that, that we will always show that it's, that's a very valuable thing that may never be lost. It's going to be difficult, I think, but I think the, the quality of all these big masterworks that we already have is such that they will survive. <laughs>